National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Beatty, naturopath and a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today, I wanna to touch on a major focus in men's health, which is the prostate. What we're gonna talk about is not prostate diseases, we're gonna to talk today instead about prostate health. Yeah, it's a new paradigm in medicine here. We're gonna actually work on prevention of a disease as opposed to just a reaction to it. So oftentimes we wait until diseases happen and then we try to undo them. And unfortunately, that's not the best way to be. Instead, what we wanna do is prevent a disease state from occurring in the first place by living a healthy way. And so what we're gonna talk about are some things you can do to reduce the chances of prostatic hyperplasia. Now, there's a couple reasons the prostate will overgrow. Hormonal imbalances is one of the big ones. And another thing that can actually lead to prostatic problems is uh, bacterial infections. So you can actually get uh, bacterial prostatitis and sometimes they can be difficult to uh, diagnose which one's which. In fact, you basically have to get uh, you know, a secretion from the prostate to be able to test if there is any type of bacterial infection present. Because if it is, you're gonna actually want to address the bacterial infection with an antibiotic or an antibiotic herb such as golden seal, which can be very effective. And, and that's what I typically will use clinically in the management of bacterial prostatitis. And I found it in the past to be very, very effective. One of the other causes of prostatic problems is prostatic hyperplasia, which is an overgrowth of the prostate. And that's typically related to essentially poor lifestyle factors, lack of vegetable intake, lack of hydration. All of these contribute to imbalances in the hormones, which are ultimately going to lead to overgrowth of the prostate. So you'll see elevations in something called dihydrotestosterone, which is a testosterone metabolite, as well as elevations in estrogens. And these are both growth hormones that lead to overgrowth of the prostate. That's going to pinch down on the urethra, decreasing urine flow, and that leads to a number of problems. So ways we prevent this prostatic hyperplasia, first things first, Eat your vegetables. Probably the most important tip I'm gonna give you today for your prostate. Exercise is also very uh, important. However, be careful of certain activities, things like cycling, where uh, the way the seat actually hits the male perineum, it could actually cause a mechanical stress on the prostate, creating inflammation and actually creating hyperplasia that way. So cycling is something you do need to be careful with. Oh, and, and if you do enjoy cycling, just make sure you get a properly fitted seat that's not gonna put too much pressure on the perineum because that can actually contribute to prostate problems. So exercise, very helpful for managing the prostate, but again, caution with cycling. And then things that you can do to prevent uh, prostatic hyperplasia, uh, supplements such as saw palmetto, very, very effective at prevention as well as management of prostatic hyperplasia when you do have it. And then certain supplements are needed for the prostate to work optimally. Zinc is very, very important for the prostate, as is selenium, as these help your body with hormonal metabolism, and that helps you to eliminate the excessive hormones, as well as normalize the function of the prostate. So it's best to always prevent these kind of conditions. In men, I always try to preach, and well, in anyone, I always try to preach prevention versus reaction to uh, you know, any type of disease. That ounce of prevention is absolutely worth a pound of cure. So if you're you know, predisposed to developing this kind of condition, or you don't know if you are and you just want to, I hope these tips help you out. Any questions or comments, you can post below and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And last but not least, always remember, knowledge is health. Thank you.